Hello, I'm Sean from BookSource, the company that created BookSource Classroom. I'll be your guide through a series of videos to help you better understand BookSource Classroom and its many features. Today, we're going to talk about students and in particular how to add, edit, and delete students. So let's get down to it. If you're on the Students page, which can be accessed on the left-hand side menu of BookSource Classroom, you can easily add students in a couple different ways. One is you can import them from Excel. If you do this, you need to format the Excel document with the template that we will let you download, and then you can import those into your classroom. This is important for if you have an existing system that you're already coming over from, or one of those situations. The easiest way is to add them manually just one by one, especially if you're only dealing with, say, 30 students or 60 students. Go ahead and click Add Student, and type in their first name and last initial. I'm going to add myself here. Now you'll notice this username, it's automatically generated. It's a combination of that first name and last initial. Never put in a last name into the first name box. We are very concerned about PII here at BookSource and making sure that student information is safe. And so that's why we only ask for first name and last initial. We want to maintain the fact that there is no PII in the system. But you can see here it's P1. Well, why is that? Well, you might not be able to see too well here because this is up, but there's a Sean P already in the system. So we automatically increment those. You can select which group the student goes into, and of course you can add as many groups as you'd like. You can add a password if you want to enable student passwords. We usually recommend that you don't unless it's a, a higher end grade level. And you can add a school assigned ID if you wish to. Uh, most users don't bother with this part. I will create that student, and here we go. Now I have a Sean P and a Sean P1. Now what if I want to edit the student? Well, I can click this edit icon here, and I can easily edit all the information that I just put in. That's not the only way to edit, though. I could also click on Sean P1, and I could go to Profile. I could also click Edit here, and again, it will look the exact same, and it will show all the different ways that I can add in information or edit information for this student. So let me go back to the student area. I can also select a student or select multiple students, and I can group those students. So I could say that I want to move both of these students to a new group. Let's say I want to move them to group A. Okay, and now you can see both these students are in group A. Now if you want to delete one of these students, it's also pretty easy. Just go ahead and click this delete icon here. Verify, and now that student is being deleted. You can select multiple students as well and delete them in bulk. This is especially helpful if it's the end of the year and you're just trying to clear out your classroom for the next year. So thank you for taking the time to learn about this feature and to learn more about Books with Classroom. Be sure to check out our other helpful videos that we have on this channel.